More changes coming inside Broward County schools, a direct result of last year's massacre in Parkland. CBS 4's Kerry Codd is live at school board headquarters with details for us. Kerry? Elliot, for months, families of the Parkland victims and the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Public Safety Commission have been saying that Broward schools needed a formal code red policy and a safer spaces policy in classrooms. Today, Broward school board members put those safety measures in place. We're in this place where we need to pass a policy. Broward school board members unanimously passed two safety measures Wednesday that they believe will address specific problems identified by the Parkland tragedy last year. One of the measures is a hard corners or safer spaces policy. Hard corners are areas in classrooms where students and teachers would not be visible from hallways, windows, or door openings. After the Parkland shooting, there was a lot of concern that classrooms in the freshman building did not have hard corners identified, leaving students vulnerable. The Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Public Safety Commission said hard corners are a necessity. They wrote in their initial report that the district's failure to mandate and implement hard corners or safe areas in every classroom was a safety breach that contributed to students being shot. Board member Lori Oladev, whose daughter Alyssa was murdered at Stoneman Douglas, said Alyssa might have been saved if there had been a safer space in her classroom. Alyssa was in the direct line of fire, but if there was a safer space, she could have known where that was and ran to that safer space and hypothetically could still be alive today. Board members and Superintendent Robert Runcie said Wednesday they wanted to pass a policy to get safer spaces into classrooms right away. But they said safety experts and some law enforcement cautioned that this issue is more complicated than it seems. We have rooms that have multiple doors. Um, we have classrooms uh, with windows. The board promised to tweak the policy as needed, depending on specific issues in schools, classrooms, and in certain situations. Another change is a formal code red policy. At Stoneman Douglas, no one called a code red for more than three minutes after the shooting began. The district said they had policies for a code red in place in the past, but this move formalizes the policy and mandates annual training for all school employees. Um, it has further for clarification about our expectation around training and that every employee um, must participate, understand the policy, and um, also that every employee has a responsibility to be able to call a code red, for example, um, and to do whatever they can to make sure our schools are as safe as possible. Runcie said they put in a number of safety measures, additional video cameras, additional fencing, visitor protocol procedures. Her critics would say those measures are too late and cannot bring back those 17 victims. Now, the school district will hold a town hall on safety and security on Monday night at 630 at J.P. Taravella High School in Coral Springs. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.